Hi everyone, today I would like to show the progress of my making the heli blade from the edge of tomorrow, leave die repeat. And this is a measurement that I um, I try um, uh, and get it from the, the actual replica from the movie. So, so this is going to be one to one uh, scale. Um, you can see that this is a, the, the, the plate. And it was about one meter long, and then I have all the uh, the measurement in a centimeter because it. I think the, the original one took like it would around the uh, the metric system, you know. So um, try and measure that, and um, I get I got this board from from Low, and it uh, looked pretty good. It's uh, kind of lightweight because I don't want it too heavy. It um, it make from solid wood and it's pretty light. Um, I put that measurement right into here and draw it out. You can see that this is a whole, this is an actual plate, and this is gonna be uh, the part, the end part of the, of this right here. And I'm gonna put a handle right in here. So I'm gonna cut it out um, and uh, start from there. And after that, once um, I'm cut them out, I'm going to sand them down and make them a little bit smooth and and like kind of a little bit, little bit uh, curved right here and the one on top at the same time i'm gonna make this thing look like a, like a blade uh like a blade that that part out here and paint it afterwards so so it's gonna be um i mean hopefully it's gonna be a couple of week project because i'm gonna spend only like weekend and free time to do it so i'm gonna have a couple hours here and there you know so so i'm gonna start doing that and then i'm going to have some progress picture for you guys all right, let's go. Hey guys, this is what after cut out from that uh, drawing, I just uh, hand saw uh, uh, these uh, shape, and uh, it looked pretty nice so far. So I'm gonna sand them down, uh, make it more smooth edges, or make it sharper. <laughs> so depend on where what part it is. So I'm gonna sand them down, and uh, you're gonna see the, what next. Okay, everyone. Um, after I sand it down. I make the edge look a little bit more round, so we make more like a actual helicopter plate. So this is what it is, and uh, it uh, looks so so uh, so good so far. Um, so everything edge around here and here. Um, the next part I'm gonna make this thing uh, like a layer, like a little bit slow. So it make like a like a look like a sharp sub edge. Uh, so look like I may have to sand it down like like an angle like this from here to all the way like this um, Okay, so here's the plate It's actually longer than a meter so So from here actually from here to here is a meter long One meter long with the handle will be longer. So total will be 122 centimeter Hey guys, I get a rod right here um, around 22 centimeter long and um, I cut like um, 9 millimeter uh, across and the distance from here and here around 4 centimeter so I cut it out to make a uh, the handle uh, for that heli uh, plate and um, it looks pretty, pretty nice you see right now look at the end it, the contact point only this much um, if it was a little bit longer then you know you get more leverage that's all okay I just bought a uh, Primo uh, Scopey and um, I uh, this is a polymer clay and I, I just scoped the piece and um, and after this it will look pretty good I'm gonna do P by piece I'm gonna do um, on the other side and then after that, I'm gonna make the the handle right here, and then the the bow action up here, and, uh, and that, that 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 pretty much you know I'm gonna scope the whole thing here. So I'm not gonna use any wood or anything like that. It's gonna be clay completely for this part, at least the uh, the handle connected part. Hey, I just scope uh, these uh, you know the handle right here. Um, it just a uh, I haven't sanded them down yet. But uh, this is what it's uh, after it's done. I bake it in the oven, um, 
and it look uh, pretty uh, good so far so it's gonna go in like this and then I'm gonna finish off with this uh, bolt right here and uh, uh, the part down here okay um, yeah so this is what it look like after I sculpted it and um, this is pretty it's still um, it's hard and a little bit flexible so it's good it won't break easy so that's a good part so that's what it looked like when you go in here I'm gonna sand it down and um, make it look like metal okay uh, this is after the scope and now I place it in here I did some sanding and uh, put it into uh, this make the handle um, you can see that there's some still rough spot that need to be smoothed out and um, I need to do some more clay to cover some of the imperfections so so now everything in place and uh, look good so far so this is going to be the handle um, for the heli blade and it make out of uh, polymer clay like I mentioned earlier oh this is what it look like so far so do some close shot and um, here it is. Now I uh, just attach the um, the clay module into the handle. So right now what it look like. So I also scope on the side, and uh, and now it uh, it not very not perfect, but uh, I think it look good for the first try. So I'm gonna keep that right now and. Um, uh, here what it is so the handle this is from oh so after I um this is one of the um, one of the legs of the sofa the sofa that I bought and uh, it looked uh, pretty perfect for this so I bought it like a little, little long I cut it off and this is like a four centimeter long and I drew the hole in here and I just screwed it one in, and uh, it looked perfect. It looked like um, the uh, the end knob of that uh, heli blade uh, for that movie. So right now, the next step is gonna be um, I'm gonna paint it. Probably gonna be prime it first to make it more smoother, and then I'm gonna paint it black and um, make this area look like like a sh sharp blade, uh, maybe gray or like a silver color. Um, and then you know paint these uh, color accordingly and after that I'm gonna put some tapes around it and uh, try to mimic exactly the heli plate that we got from that movie from Ed of Tomorrow so this thing turned out pretty good I sand the uh, the edge down a little bit make it like a um, little bit more round so look at about like this so, so here we go here the, here the final plate that uh, unpaint right now now um, I'm trying to uh, prepare the surface so that I can paint uh, the primer. I'm gonna sand down uh, all the rough edges, and um, and after that it just go go smooth. Okay, now I think the uh, the plate is ready for priming. So I'm gonna put them down here with the paper the background. Make sure the surface is really clean. I don't want any anything like you know flying stuck on it. Yeah, it's like a little bit windy today, so hopefully everything. Um. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna spray a thin layer like this. Let's take it out first. Okay. Okay, so this is one uh, after one layer of um, primer, and um, this is the, what it looked like. Uh, I still can see some uh, wood grain uh, showed up after the primer, so maybe you have to sand it down a little bit more. Uh, but overall, um, look fine, look good. Especially the, the part down here, um, there's still some touch-up area need to be done, but um, it's uh, pretty solid pretty good I uh, this is the uh, I put a couple coat of 
paint, black paint, the satin, black. So a little bit shiny, but not too shiny um, on the, on the plate. So this is what it look like. Um, so there's still some sanding I need to be done uh, without the uh, the hand the handle, the handle the the paint. So uh, I just finished uh, spray paint uh, the uh, the blade, and uh, the the and then after a few sanding part, you know, it look uh, starting to look uh, smooth now. Um, so here's uh, the black color, and the front, uh, the handle, uh, the gray color, and I'm gonna touch up some paint over here, and I'm gonna put some um, uh, electrical taps around it to simulate. Um, like in the movie and this is the back side of it um, so this is what it look like uh, the plate so now I'm gonna do uh, some bright brush uh, the paint to make it look sharp right here and uh, and pencil and put some letter on top uh, of it uh, next so here here the plate so far Now I'm gonna paint the um, the, uh, the shop plate. So just tape it up so that I uh, I want to make it like a straight line. So we'll start over here. So now I'm just gonna paint, continue painting this part um, to make it a little bit gold, just like what in the movie. It's kind of yellowish uh, with black outline. You know, so I'm trying to simulate that here. Um, Okay, so after the painting and um, some gold paint right here, um, so I prepared the surface They're ready for spray paint. I start out with um, try to paint it manually, but the black is too thick, so I probably did pre painting it and then uh, do some kind of bright brush uh, black to make it like a scratch. Um, so I think ready for prime in painting right now. Start looking good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna spray paint the, uh, the second part. Try to spray it slightly outside here. Spray it like that. Oops, nope. Man, this. this is after some initial paint paint of the, uh, the, the blade. It looked uh, pretty good way clean so but uh it doesn't make it look realistic yet so i'm gonna make some bright brush and make it more realistic from here so let me turn the other side 
there doesn't want to look like. Okay, just cut out the leather and put on the blade to prepare for uh, spray paint. So one thing I'm afraid is that um, the, the paper is so thin, the white paint going to go through it if you go spray paint. So kind of debating right now whether I'm using spray paint or just a water-based um, paint. Um, face paint is a lot thicker, so we'll see. Maybe try a small section of it. Wow, after the spray paint, it uh, looks pretty good. It's uh, a little bit smear here and there, but it uh, looks realistic. So, the letter, a lot of time, like, you know, they put letter on top and they spray paint over it. This looks like that. So, it the, the smearing effect is uh, actually become a bonus feature for this. So, <laughs> look kind of nice. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with the, that painting right here. Uh, maybe some uh, some touch-up paint here, but actually the, the leather on the weapon is kind of worn out anyway So um, it should be okay with that Alright, cool Okay, so now some bright brushing uh, So, for example I just did the uh, the label uh, attached to the the plate, and um, as you can see, it look it look uh, there's some thickness in here. It's actually, all paint, so I kind of cover them like this, uh, like I make them like a rectangular, and then I spray paint this this part over and over again, and make it thicker. And after that, I uh, hand draw all of the letter in here, and I try to make it smear a little bit to make it like uh, weather and um, and fade, you know. And, and fading uh, from from the fighting, and um, also did some of the uh, uh, you know uh, changing and make this thing look a little bit uh, old and dirty to simulate uh, the the blade being used, um, and also uh, put the the red part uh, in here. I'm not sure what it is, it but in the in the movie, the the blade actually have that uh, that red. So I'm not sure what that for, but it there. So to add it. So to make it look uh, realistic, so now um, they go back to this one. See it there, like um, it it looked like a sticker, but you know, like I mentioned earlier, it's it all paint, it all paint, and and just the uh, the layer of it that's so thick that it make it like a um, like a sticker. And um, so far, it this this in here is not hundred percent accurate, but it's somewhat uh, look accurate. You know, there's some number not correct because I don't know. I cannot see from a real one, so um, just try to mimic the the lay the uh, the serial number and label. Um, so it all so it's pretty much finished. So the last thing I'm gonna do is um, put a clear coat over it, and that will be a finished uh, product. So, all right. Uh, here the back side of the blade. I mean, on the back side, but the other side of the blade, and you can see. Uh, just uh, look, just have a look from a distance. Okay, and this is the other side of the plate, the heli plate. 